The CEG was recorded while a patient was experiencing an absence seizure. The first characteristic finding that may come to your attention is the sudden change in activity that occurs about halfway through this reading. While the first half is normal, with a posterior dominant rhythm, the second half begins with an abrupt onset of epileptic discharges. After inspecting the EG from top to bottom, we note that the discharges occur in every lead, or in other words, the epileptic activity is generalized. When following a lead from the start of the epileptic discharges to the end of the EG, a repeating pattern becomes evident. With a closer look, we can see that each of the repeating complexes consists of a spike and a wave. Lastly, we need to determine the frequency of the complexes. Now, as you may be aware, the vertical bars are separated by a duration of one second. Counting the number of spike wave complexes that occur between the two bars, we find that approximately three occur per second. The frequency of these complexes, however, is variable and not necessarily consistent from start to finish. They often begin with a higher frequency and slow down a little before abruptly ending. To quickly summarize, the characteristic EEG findings in a patient experiencing an absence seizure include the sudden onset of generalized discharges consisting of spike and wave complexes occurring at a rate of approximately 3 per second.